Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I am so excited to be talking about summer palettes. For those of you who don't know, summer is my favorite season. I love the heat, I love the excuse to wear color, and I'm excited to be talking about five palettes. I have a couple honorable mentions. Why don't we go ahead and get into it? Alright, as we get started, I have a couple items that are not technically eyeshadows, but I wear them in the place of eyeshadows typically, and I can't not mention these. I've been wearing these a ton lately. I'm loving them. These are the Suva Beauty Hydro Liners. I wish I had the like bright pink one too, but I'm trying to tell myself that I don't really need it. I have plenty of like hot pink eyeshadows that I could wear if I want to, but I love these neon eyeliners. These two in particular are my favorites. This is Fanny Pack and Acid Trip, and this is Dance Party. Perfect if you're just wanting like a subtle like makeup more subtle makeup look it's still a neon liner but if you put like a big old neon wing on and then some falsies or like really pile up the mascara it looks really intentional and put together and very fun for summer and I always get like compliments when I wear these so I can't not mention these all right another honorable mention is one that I literally got in the mail like a couple days ago this is ColourPop in the limelight palette and I, I love green all the time but especially during summer I want some like bright lime greens and I saw this and I saw a couple people say that the palette was actually surprisingly very good I like the monochromatic schemes because honestly I'm not the most creative person so it helps me think of looks and like no pairings right off the bat so I went ahead and picked this up recently and today is my first time actually wearing it um, I have this in my crease a little bit along with another palette I'll talk about um, I have this in my crease and then I have booked in my like inner corner real lightly and I may I think I also put layout some on my outer corner so far very excited to have this and although I can't like fully like put my stamp of, of approval on it yet because I've only used it one time um, I'm very excited to play with this this summer all right now let's go ahead and actually get into my five summer palettes this one I picked and I'm wearing it a good bit today this is the Odin's Eye Hella palette and again Another really good excuse to wear some green. Sorry if I'm blinding you there. Also, these pinks are so fun for summer. So today I have this shade here up like high in my like transition of my crease. And then I think I used a little bit of decay on my outer corner and that's all I'm wearing today. It, or no, no, duh, I'm wearing this Venom shade on my lid. That's like the star of the show. Obviously it like is very close match to this like top. So I had to showcase it. Really, really excited to play with these greens. I really enjoy those pinks. And um, I actually did a look the other day with this like greeny peachy shimmer. It's really like a peach shimmer with like a slight green reflect in it. And I had that all over my lid and then I did a bright green neon liner. Love that look. I wore it in a video, I'll link that here. But again, like solid summer palette. Very excited to have this and I can't wait to wear it more this summer. All right, now let's get into the remaining four. Granted, a lot of these palettes that I'm about to talk about are either discontinued or no longer available or maybe on their way out. So sorry about that. I'm just not someone who bites a ton of new palettes all the time. But uh, I'll start with one that I think is still available. This is the Uh Huh Honey from ColourPop. And again, summer, I, I think of color, and I really like to wear yellowy tones in summer. And this palette in particular is one of my favorites. I'm someone who likes the pressed glitter formula from ColourPop. So this Palooza shade here is a lot of fun. But even if you're not into that, I think like these yellowy, even like slightly goldy colors are just really flattering during summer. And I really, really, really enjoy wearing this a lot in summer. For palette number three, I'm going to go ahead and talk about another colorful option. This is one that I wish desperately BH Cosmetics had made permanent in their line, but they didn't. This is the Weekend Festival palette. I talk about it often and I just really enjoy it. I, it's a color scheme that inspires me but at the same time intimidates me. I don't know if anyone else is like that but a lot of these shades are very bright and I do wish it had a couple additional like transition shades but this is a great palette that I can pair with plenty of other palettes in my collection and I especially love this pink and this bright orange, this like light hot pink, um, this green here is also beautiful. I just really enjoy like the pops of color and I don't tend to do complete looks like I said with this palette but it is a really nice one to pair with other palettes in my collection. If I said the last palette was number four, I meant number three. <laughs> this palette is number four. This is a palette that sadly is no longer available. This was a collab between ABH and Jackie Ina and this is another one that I just really enjoy for the fact that it's colorful but it's more wearable than like 
some of these tones and some of the bright green tones that I've talked about previously. Now these, I really enjoy like this red shade. I really, really, really like these kind of two sparkly shades on the end. They're very, when I wear them, I feel like I can pull off that bronze goddess look. Uh, I really enjoy the greens in here. Very good warm tones, like matte colors to pair with this palette. And it's just a palette that I find myself drawn to in the summer and the fall too. But this one I have to mention because I'm very excited to reach for it this summer. And last up is one that I have to mention because again, during summer I tend to be a little bit more self-tanned and I enjoy that kind of bronzy gold, like heavy leaning, like towards, I don't know, just wanting to feel like I'm a bronze goddess even if I have to fake it. But this here is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I know that they're phasing this out. I really hope they bring it back in the midi size because this is a fantastic palette. I really, really enjoy it. Again, just kind of like a basic warm neutral palette. Got a nice mustard shade, got some like greeny, these, these green shades are ridiculous. I will swatch them for you. So I barely touched them, but that is what we're working with. Just really beautiful like shades that kind of shift greeny, but they're still very gold. And this is just another one that if I'm like, I don't want to think about what I'm wearing that day. I don't want to think about my look and I just want to reach into a palette that I know is going to like look good. This is the one I reach for. And again, like these like golds and the, the browns even in here are really beautiful for summer. One that I absolutely love all year round, but especially during summer because of that bronziness. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Something quick to the point. Make sure in the comments you let me know what palettes you are excited to reach for this summer. I always love to hear those kind of comments. Make sure you let me know what colors you like to wear as, as well. And please don't forget to say hello and I will see you in the next one. Bye.